Hi. Welcome. Of course, as soon as I go live, I have like a tickle in my eyelash. Isn't that just how that happens? Um, I wonder if I can share to my page. Oh, I don't know if I can share to my page. I wish I could share to my page. Whatever. Um, so I'm not even going to worry about sharing this live stream in session because I just, I have, I just want to talk to you guys, you friends, yo, if you want to share me out right now, go ahead. If you catch the replay and this is lovely information and it would work well in one of the great groups you service as far as helping people sort of align their lives and, and cut out disruption, then please share, please share. Um, so Something that I learned how to do a couple years ago, so it's actually like the anniversary of the time that I did my property clearing on my property, um, because I moved here three years ago and I did not know how to work with properties uh, or, or clearing in the Akashic Records three years ago. I hadn't yet um, sort of discovered that modality. And so it was about a year later yeah, that I, that I invested in the program that taught me how to do this. And... Um, I love this program. It was definitely divinely inspired and channeled down to the person who created it. Um, so it's quite amazing. Um, and it's it's called, well, the program, I'm I'm calling this, this property alignment. Because, you know, I, got, I do your soul realignments and I do relationship realignments for y'all. Um, so why not do soul, why not do property realignments? It came about one of my clients... Um, whom was moving right around the time that we did a, a, a personal session for them, one of my alignment sessions for them and their, and their uh, family. And they were like, oh, we're moving. And I'm like, you know what? I would just, I would love to do a clearing on your new property. Like, I just, I feel really called to, you know, I like threw the offer out there and some astronomically low rate because I was like, I haven't done one in a while, like besides my own. So let me just, let me just like get this done for you at a super low rate. Hi, Kelly. Hello. Hi, Anna. Yeah, why not? Like, why not? Um, and so then I did another one for her on the property she was just moving out of. Uh, and then she referred me to somebody. Um, so that's just amazing. I, I love that network. Um, so I'm very blessed. But it's interesting, the things that I'm going to, I'll tell you like a little bit about what you can find out on your property. So there can be portal ways open to different lifetimes, past lifetimes. So if somebody, even in a past lifetime, um, something occurred on that land with them before your house was even there when there was all sorts of other things like trees and stuff like in that place um you know they they the portal way if there's a portal way they could access that and come come trop some back in here and this we're in a holographic universe guys so just think of it that way you know this isn't like time travel this is just like holographic travel sliders the movie the, the tv show sliders from back in the day i'm super old i'm not even sure that was a very popular show <laughs> i was very interested in it and now i know why because later i'll be talking about this kind of stuff so portal ways they can be on your in your build they can be in your building or they can be on your property uh, most of the times the ones that were located in your building were just on your property and then you built there okay or somebody did um there can be gateways gateways are really problematic because they can open up to a variety of different lifetimes and let a whole variety of different entities in through so we're talking ghosts that are not associated with that land or that property poltergeists i mean you guys remember i just don't know if i loved those shows they scared the shit out of me okay hi daisy <laughs> Thanks for thanks for watching. Hello, all the way from the UK. So, but I'm like, okay, I found a poltergeist involved in in a recent property clearing, you guys. And so, you want to get rid of these things. There can be negative entities, and so, and there sometimes negative entities aren't like <clears throat> poltergeists, okay? And they're not even as bad as ghosts. Uh, There's some weird accent that just came out of me. Um, <laughs> I'm really just not from anywhere special in in the middle of the United States, so. Um, I channel people from somewhere else. So anyway, they can just be a little bit disruptive. They can like, you know, just like they can mess with your lights or your, your television equipment, maybe even just like a, a family attachment that's in a bad mood. So we can just ask them, Hey, can you just tone it down? Okay. You're just a little bit of a negative entity and maybe you're trying to protect them. So, um, but I can find out details on that and I can sort of read into that situation. Hi, Jamie. Hello. I'm getting, I'm getting people from all over the place. Hi, Stacy. So we've got New Zealand, the UK, New Mexico. I'm in California. <laughs> um, 
Welcome. I'm going to see, see if anybody else has said where they are. I've got a friend from my home, home state in Utah that tuned in. Like, we're all over. I love that. Um, I love it so much. So, let's see. What else? I have notes that I wanted to, like, make sure I don't forget things. So, there can be negative thought forms. So, when certain properties, you know, a lot of people live in there. And if, and if it's a rental, okay, there's a couple rules. So if it's a rental, you have to be on the rental agreement in order to request a property clearing and then I can do it. So you're legally the person that can enter the property whenever, do anything they really want with it. I mean, we're not like, by property clearing is not repainting your walls. <laughs> the landlord is only going to experience positive effects from this. <clears throat> Kimberly, Kimberly says, she's, hi, from Nevada. Hello. Um, if you own the home, totally I can do it for you, obviously. That's a lot of times. If you, oh, if the home, if you're a real estate agent, okay, and the home is listed on the open market, I can do the property clearing for you to help you sell that home and align it with the perfect individuals for it without any of this other baloney that's attached to it. So there's, those are some, those are some, that's some like fine print. So uh, you've got negative thought forms from people who lived in the home, just from experiencing energies for a while. I mean, if you have a woman that went through postpartum depression in the home, then like and years later you buy the home, you don't even know. You don't even know how hard it was for her, but it was probably pretty hard because, you know, it happens. Life is hard. And after you have a baby, sometimes it gets really emotional and intense. And so now you have a baby and you have that baby in, in that home or, or whatever, you know, not, not saying a home birth, but your experience of postpartum depression might be amplified by that experience from the, from the thought form that was created before you were even in there. Okay. So I can clear all that out. It's amazing. Um, so there can be anger spears, hmm, somebody real angry at you. Neighbors can even initiate an anger spear if you get, if there's like a feud, Maybe you didn't even know about the feud. You didn't know. They don't tell you like, yeah, that neighbor's a real dick over there when you're buying the house. They're like, no, the neighbors are really nice. That's what they say. <laughs> um, like, I mean, come on. So we can clear out all that. And then, and then that neighbor without even knowing it is going to be like, you know, I'm going to be really super nice to that family because just because they move into that house, they don't have anything to do with those old people that are really mean or whatever, um, that left. So, so that's this, like kind of some practical uses for this clearing. Um, let's see, there can be negatively charged objects. Okay. So sometimes fixtures, if your home has fixtures that don't move, so chandeliers or like other fixtures, um, if if a, if a, an intense experience was to happen in the bathroom, sometimes the bathroom fixtures, those are ornate or they have a little bit of decoration around them, those can hold some negative energy. Um, I mean, like, we're not talking like pleasantries. You may not know about all the things that happened in a home. Um, so we can look at any of your objects that might be negatively charged or just not resonating with the family. I'm not going to necess- tell, you, tell you to get rid of them, but what I do is I retune them and then we, and then we assess the situation afterwards. We see, we see what happens after the clearing. Um, I find out if the home was ever assigned as any sort of, uh, assigned in the past. Was it assigned as a burial ground? Was it assigned? What did did a battle occur there? Therefore, have it be kind of assigned as a as a mm, battleground in some memorial sort of process. Was it some? Was it assigned as a ceremonial ground uh, where pleasant ceremonies or um, just just common ceremonies t- took place, such as uh, maybe, maybe helping escort the dead over to the other side. Okay. Or maybe this was a place that people will go to have a baby. So there's these energies and not that you don't really need that around. I mean, those could be pleasant energies. Um, but if it was a battleground or a burial ground, we can reassign that to your family and your home. Um, if it's your business, we can reassign that energy to be productive for your business. Okay. So I can do property clearings on your business as well. That's a little bit like, again, you have to, they have to be renting it. I can do it only on your space if there's other crap going on around you. So it's really, I'm really throwing this out there for homes because as you guys know, I just like work so closely with families and cl- clearing out the crap. I'm going to see what Jamie has to say here. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, if you are, she says she's close to some battlegrounds, some known battlegrounds. And a lot of times you, you might know about them because that's something fancy about the neighborhood. Oh, this neighborhood, 
it was Battlegrounds, I'm not sure. Um, but I, you can find out about them. I was like, I don't know if I was a real estate agent, if I would tell that to folks. Um, but yes, we seriously can look at that energy because like I said, if there's a portal way open, um, it can really just welcome people back and forth from a particular lifetime. Portal ways are really common. Gateways are not as common. They're really intense. So there are some differences. Hi, Natalie. Hi. So I'm, I love, I love all the ladies who are joining, everybody who's joining. Um, so what else is there? I want to see. I have my notes from the property clearings. I'm not telling you who, who's, whose house and, and whatnot here, but, um, yeah, I don't think I forgot anything. So I wanted to throw these out here at like a, a pretty good offer and then we'll have a final resting price. <laughs> you know how I like to do things. Um, so that just says that I might get a little bit of a waiting list initially and that's okay. I always come through. I'm trying to help fund my son's private uh, kindergarten. I keep saying that and I keep paying bills with all the money I'm, uh, I am uh, receiving and I thank the universe for that. So, um, but you know, school's going to start in August. So, um, yeah, so there $44 on special, $44 on special because their final resting point is going to be $88, okay? So, um, yeah, okay, you have a large property. <laughs> 500 acres, can I cope? Um, yeah, you know, I can because it's like sort of, uh, let, let's just, I think I can cope. You'd be a good one for me to try on to see if I can cope. I'm up to the challenge. <laughs> Did you see what my shirt says, guys? I think it's backwards on live stream. So let's see here. I'll do that whole like selfie view. It says I'm mostly peace, love, and light, and a little go uh, F yourself there with a whole bunch of uh, <laughs> cute little... Um, symbols and such and whatnot, you know, I went, I wore this shirt to pick up my kid from preschool and I was like, mm, maybe, maybe I won't let the teacher read it fully like down here. <laughs> so I, I did, I wore it for a reason because I was really excited to talk about this today. And I'm like, you know, I did a property clearing and I kind of feel powerful when I'm like, okay, we're going to, we're going to escort these ghosts out of here. The, the time the poltergeist came up, I was like, whoa. And of course, all the, the images that I have of experiencing pop culture, poltergeist, the movie from way back. I loved those scary movies as a kid. Like I love to be scared. Like, I don't know why. Um, so yeah, I can find out if there's a portal and we can just kind of go from there. So the way this all works is you let me know what's going on. Um, give me, give me the lovely energy exchange we need. And then I do, I go into the records of the property. So I just need to know your address. Um, please don't post any addresses here. <laughs> I'm not doing any readings right now. I just want to make sure nobody throws their address up. This is a public video on Facebook. Um, please wait until we do energy exchange for you to send me your address. Um, I, I ask of you. So I go in there. I find out the information. Um, I do the clearing right away. And then I send you a feedback video, some feedback video. And then all you need to do for eight days in a row is sage your entire house. And I give you a detailed understanding like of how to do that so you can access it. So it's really awesome. It's 44 bucks, you guys. Um, this is not something... You can clear out energy that you guys experience as a household, like every month on the full moon. It's great for space clearing, really great time to sage your home. Um, but you're not necessarily going to need to do another massive clearing like this. It's not, not like a, an every month sort of thing. So this investment for your home, very potentially, can last you the whole time period that you live there. Now, if, if a family member or someone in the home goes through something intensely emotional during the time of living there, you will want to clear out negative thought forms on a regular basis. That can sometimes be caught in a monthly moon clearing, especially if you ask to clear out any negative thought forms. I'm all about teaching you guys at the same time as facilitating the work myself. So ask and you shall receive. Ask and you shall receive. Um, so there, you have angels, you have elementary Mentals, those uh, little beings from the Delvet Kingdom, they are all watching over your properties, okay? And they, they're here to support you and help you. So if you ask them to look out for these sorts of things, they can they can help you do that. Um, and then using the full moon energy is really powerful. I don't know. Let's see. We don't have a full moon. Is it a full moon coming up? What's happening? Um... Whoa, we got, we've got a whole like eclipse situation coming up here. So what, I'm so mixed up. What did we just do? 
Oh, we just had a full moon, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now we're going on to the new moon. So there's there's going to be a new moon on July 2nd and an eclipse. But either way, I mean, the full moons come out every month, you guys. So you can, you can form your own clearing rituals using sage, using um, the power of your own intention. So it's really beautiful. I just go in and help you thoroughly do it. Um, I'm really excited to be offering this. Um, very, very, very excited for it. So send me a message if you have any questions. If you want to talk about what the crazy is going on in your home, I'm here for you. Like, I, nothing is too weird for me. I still have my, my Crystal Synergy Onk um, here that I'm holding because, like, when you do these property clearings, they are... These, they're kind of intense. Like I do clearings for individual souls and I get, I love when I do this clearing work for individual souls because I get like a mini booster of the clearing work myself. And um, so, but the thing about property clearing is it's intense. It's like, um, I can feel the ancestral connection in it. So I'm doing much more than just for you and, and your so it's wonderful. You're able to invest in the history of the land, the history of the home, the history of the people that, that pass through the home or have had experiences with it. So that's a really beautiful thing as well. Um, Jamie, I'm definitely looking forward to connecting with you. Uh, we can talk on Messenger about, about all of your acres. <laughs> and I'm absolutely down as well. Um, I would love, love, love to do that clearing for, for you and your family and your animals. Um, let's see if I missed any other comments. Um, no, I don't think I did. If I did, please, please always feel free to just message me if you have questions and I, and I sort of jump out of these live streams. I'm super excited to be offering this. I'm going to see how it works to be doing, doing these, um, energetically. I can do like time wise, I can do a few per day, but I also want to make sure each one is getting the right intensity. So initially I kind of heard the number of three, like three per day. Um, so just know there's a waiting, there will be a waiting list first come first serve. Um, and I don't want to overload it because it doesn't do me any good and it doesn't do the, the property any, any good. Um, so much love to you. Ask me any and all questions. Go ahead and post here. I will pay attention, um, throughout the days that follow and you can also just message me as well. So have a really great day.